And again, a couple of reminders before we really get started into the subject matter. Um, the IDA program is still a fabulous program. Um, you know, with this coronavirus, there's been a slowdown in the industry, slowdown by buyers wanting to go into houses, slowdown by sellers wanting to accept people into the houses. It's probably a great time for you to be working uh, to get people prepared to buy. So remember that as long as the household has under $106,920 in household income, they can qualify for up to $10,000 in down payment assistance. Uh, in other words, with that 10,000, it's allowing us, you and me, to get people into house, households, into homes, for less than 1% of the purchase price. That's also another way of saying it, it's less than their first month's rent and their security deposit. And please do not, do not think that this is a first time home buyer program only. It is for existing home owners. Uh, there's several people in downtown Chicago that are in one bedroom condos. They got married, they're having children. The condo is too small for them. They're selling it. They're not selling it for enough equity in it to, to put for a down payment on a single family home. They want to move the family to a better school district out in the suburbs. And this down payment assistance is coming in very handy for those who are existing homeowners. So it's for everyone in the state of Illinois. And all you need is a 640 or better score and 106920 or less in household income. The other thing I would want to continue to emphasize to the realtors is that, by all means, please take advantage of today's technology. The old way of doing it is if you find somebody that wants to be a buyer, you say, please contact someone on my team, such as Glenn Marino or Tony Marino. And by all means, get yourself pre-approved before you go out and look at a house. If I'm on a webinar giving you know, two hours worth of education to someone, all they can do is leave me a message and maybe two hours, three hours later, I'll be able to return the phone call. But I may end up just having to leave a message because that person's not available. So if three, five hours goes by, that's not necessarily the best way of contacting or communicating with each other. Why don't you just download FCM Express onto your mobile phone, it's an app, Share the app when after it's after it's loaded onto your onto your computer. I'm sorry, onto your phone. Then there's only two options: either complete an application, which you as a realtor don't want to complete an application. But the other the other selection is: would you, would you like to share this app? And you as realtors should just be able to open up your phone, click the FCM Express app, click share, and send it off to your client. Uh, it also has a great calculator. It allows people to look at whether it's a purchaser or a refi. It allows them to look at what their payment would be on an FHA loan versus a conventional loan versus, say, a VA loan. The other thing that I'd like to show you real quickly is how to add a virtual tour to your MLS listing. So again, if we were to go over here to, oh, let's, let's, find, let's find someone's um, property website. And I think we've got one up here. In fact, let's go to Alicia Vilas's listings. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to uh, her MLS. And let's go find one of her listings. And we find here we've got an active listing right here on 51st Court. So let's click on it. And wouldn't it be nice if, in addition to above the picture here, where she's got 18 pictures, wouldn't it be nice if you had a little link with a virtual tour, because a lot of clients like to see virtual tours. Well, the easiest way to do that is once you've created the property website in your free agent marketing account, and let's just go find your agent marketing account. So let's log in here. And what, we're, what we want to do is, we can go to really any, any of the agents, but let's, let's go to, since we're talking about Alicia, let's go to Alicia. Let's go to her properties. Let's go to, here's 51st Court for sale. Um, all we need to do is go to uh, tools, 
There's edit button on the left, tools on the right, click tools. When you click tools, you can, you can scroll down to something called website links and sharing. So you see website links and sharing here under the property marketing tools, click website links and sharing. And then what you're gonna be doing is in the MLS, you cannot put your picture, your contact information, it has to be an unbranded link that goes into the MLS. Well, right here it says the MLS compliant virtual tour link. Well, that's nice if you just want the virtual tour, but quite honestly, I'd like to put the whole property website. This is the MLS compliant website link right here. All you have to do is click on this or copy this link. Notice it says this link removes your personal contact information, your photo and your logo. This link is usually lose, used as the virtual tour link in MLS systems to be virtual tour compliant. So again, let's just copy this link. Let's go back to Alicia's listing here once we're here you guys all know in your mls there's something called edit the listing information click on edit the listing information halfway down it says add or edit a virtual tour so let's add a virtual tour let's put a little black radio dial in there let's hit continue and where it says virtual tour url let's paste in that link that we just copied out of agent marketing you're going to paste it. You're going to save it. You're going to say, I represent that I own the copyrights, meaning it's, you know, it's your virtual tour. You have permission to upload this into MRED. So hit continue. Save the changes. When it comes back now, remember we just said print the listing. Now it says virtual tour here. When you click the link, now it has, and you can grab, you know, anybody can now grab the corner and make it bigger. And it's going to have all, all your buttons. It's going to have your photo gallery, your virtual tour, payment information, more information, area schools, city demographics. This is now sitting inside Alicia's MLS. And since it's on that same property, I'm just going to leave it there. I don't have to back it out. So again, I just wanted to give you guys some idea from last week's class when you guys saw how to create a property website for an expired listing that now you guys can take the virtual tour that's automatically created by Agent Marketing and let's put it inside the MLS so it makes your listing that much more attractive. Let's go back to our agenda. Also, how do you, how do you order a sign writer for buyers to text so they can download the property website into their smartphone. And again, what do I mean by a sign writer? Well, let's go, let's go take a look at what I mean by a sign writer. If we go over here, a sign writer looks like, let me get past some of these other photos. Almost there. There it is. Here's what a sign writer is going to look like. This right here, it says get instant information, text, and it's going to have a, a unique text number to 79564. 79564 is the computer in California where Agent Marketing operates. And again, in order for you to, um, how do you order one of these? I mean, uh, to me, if I was a realtor, I would want one of these on every one of my listings only because today's consumer, they want instant information, they want instant gratification. Do they really wanna call the realtor uh, that's on the yard sign? Or if you had one of these on there to get instant information about this property, text this number to 79564, that would prompt them to, while at curbside, text, you, the realtor, get a notification, both an email notification and a text notification that someone's at curbside at your, at your listing at 123 Main Street with a blue link to their phone number. You press the blue link, you're on the phone while they're still sitting in their car looking at the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. So again, how does one go about ordering that sign writer? Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go to... 
back to, to, your, to your list. This is 51st card. How would we order a sign writer for that? We come over here, over here to, um, well, actually you can go over here to shop, click shop. It brings out your, your, your shopping cart and you've already purchased let's go back to to list say that we should be able to get to the sign riders through the shopping cart let's see if it's under tools if they moved it okay they have moved it so again if we go back over here to list Reports, shared links, YouTube, flyers, present. I'll go back to shop. Oh, I know why it's not there. It's because of the coronavirus. It says here that their print shop is currently halted because of the coronavirus. So let it be known that you would go to the shopping cart, you would look for a sign writer, and you would purchase a sign writer, and it would be sent to your location. So again, just want to let you know, again, something that's beneficial to you as a realtor to get more buyer leads, give people instant gratification, instant information with a sign writer that can be attached to your yard sign. Okay, going back to our, our agenda. And also how to order 200 door hangers. Um, again, something I recommend to most realtors is that once it's a listing for you, once it expired becomes your listing, once today, once we go through FISBOs, once it becomes your listing, I want you to think about getting 200 door hangers and going around the neighborhood with these door hangers that says that this property has just been listed at 123 Main Street. It has the property website name. It also has the text number. And obviously, whenever somebody uses that text number and downloads the property website in their phone, you the realtor gets an email and a text number, a text message, so that you can make contact with that person. It's a way of introducing you to the neighborhood. I'll give you a practical example. A couple, couple of realtors in my neighborhood are using agent marketing and a house across the street from me went up for sale. Well, curiosity got the best of Rose and I, so when I saw that I could text one, two, three, four, five, six to seven, nine, five, six, four. We took out our phone, we texted, and obviously we saw it was listed for, you know, 350,000. We saw their kitchen, we saw their bedrooms, we saw, we saw everything we could make judgments. Well, our house is better, our house is worse. Our house is worth at least that 350. Um, what it does is then the realtor was calling me and, and anybody else in the neighborhood, introducing themselves that they use these high tech tools it's a great way of you getting introduced to other people in the neighborhood. In fact, it's 200 people because there's 200 door hangers. You're introducing yourself. And if they have any curiosity as to what homes in their neighborhood are selling for, they're going to text. They're going to download the property website. They're going to see all the 25 pictures and they're going to get a call from you then introducing yourself to see if they have any plans of buying or selling in the next 12 months. So again, kind of a cool thing. 6.0, growing your business. How, you, how are you doing with expireds? Again, if you guys weren't here last week and you want to know how you spend five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, it's a 10 minute exercise. You can grow your business with one expired each and every day. That's five in a week, 10 and a half month, and that's going to be 20 in a month. That means 40 in two months, that means that's going to be uh, 60 in three months. I highly recommend that you grow your business. If you had 20, 40, 60 self-generated leads, my common sense says that you would have one or two more listings per month. What would two more listings per month mean to your revenue, to your business in 2020? I think it would be substantial. We're also today going to look at the six drip pieces that we used for the expireds, because again, once you deliver your marketing materials to the expired, your job is to follow up with two drips and a call, drips three and four and a call, drips five and six and a call. Anybody needs help with that, you give me a call, give me a text. And you're going to enter your expireds into your master lead sheet, which we're going to look at later on. It's the same lead sheet 
that we're going to use for FISBOs. So that can kind of, you know, helps everybody, get, brings everybody up to speed a little bit. Um, that webinar on expireds was recorded last week. So if anybody wants to see how you can get expireds for five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, please text me, please email me, and I will send it out to you later today. So we got some bad news for the, for the FISBOs. The bad news is FISBO transactions have dropped to a record low this year. Only seven out of 100 homes sold by for sale by owners, according to the latest NAR report. That's terrible news for the FISBOs and great news for you because it means an opportunity to help these folks and get paid as well. The fact is a majority of FISBOs end up listing with an agent and based on my experience, they usually list with an agent within four to six weeks. They give up. That's a short period of time for you to stay in communication with a FISBO. So I'm gonna show you today on how you can be that agent. Very cool. Going back to our, our agenda. So what is your competition doing right now with FISBOs? Well, many of you tell me they're sending a postcard. Um, others say that if they, if they might make a phone call, that they might say, I have a buyer. Um, may I please stop by and see, see the property, see if it meets my buyer's needs. Um, that is probably one of the more, you know, that's probably one of the biggest things that most realtors will try to do with a FISBO is, is say that they have a, a buyer, whether they really have a buyer or not, and that they want to stop by and see the property. They want to try to impress them with their personality, with their ability to be a go-getter, and that they should really list their home with them rather than being a FISBO. Uh, some of them make a phone call and say, hey, are you interested in a quick sale? I'll give you a discounted cash sale, close in two weeks, your house will close in the condition it's in. Again, you know, everybody has their own way of doing it. This is what I think you should be doing for five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon. So let's take, let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking about doing what's called the elite program. I'm going to show you the quick way, and then I'm going to show you um, the long way of doing it. So under the elite program, we're going to save you time and grow your business. Let's take a look at what is the elite program all about. So the elite program, the elite program says perhaps you want to concentrate on doing $200 an hour work and you want to delegate the $10 an hour work to someone else. Well, Agent Marketing has just announced an elite program to be your virtual assistant for $35 a month. It's actually $28 a month for the first month and then $35 thereafter. There is no contract, there's no number of months, you can cancel at any time. But boy, if, again, if I was a realtor, I'd give this serious thought. Because first off, what they will do for you, Agent Marketing will create a property website for any of your active listings. Why do you need a property website? Well, because it will give you automatically free of charge, it'll create a mobile application. It'll create that random number that says for instant information on this property, text a random number, 85652 to 79564. You can also change that random number, which a lot of my clients do, they change it to the, to the name of the street. So I live on Biscay Court, so if it was me, I would change the sign writer to for instant information, text Biscay to 79564. That would help me get more leads as a realtor. I also, as a realtor, I wanna do social posting. I want to put my, my listing into Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Craigslist, YouTube, and, and others. Well, again, how about if somebody else is doing that for me for $35 a month? I can do that if I get a free property website created. Second thing it's gonna do, it's gonna create a property website for any agent's listings, you get permission to advertise. Once again, I've got agents that have one, two, three listings. They say, Glenn, I'd love, love to do more listings. Well, again, if you all look around your office, if you look at other offices, it doesn't have to be within your own office. Say somebody's got 10 listings, another person eight listings, another person six listings. What if you went up to them and said, hey, do you mind grabbing a cup of coffee with me? Would you mind if we went out and I would, I would help you 
get more buyers for your listing. You're a listing agent, right? It doesn't turn into cash to, for you until it sells. How about if I bring more buyers with my system and I'm gonna do this for you for free? If I was a, a listing agent and I had eight or 10 listings and you approached me and said, you will help me get more buyers faster and it's not gonna cost me anything, I'm all in for it. I'm gonna say, sure. All you need then is their MLS number you're gonna copy and paste all the MLS numbers onto a form and send it up to your virtual assistant. The next day you'll have eight more, 10 more listings inside your free agent marketing account. You'll have property websites, you'll have virtual tours, you'll have mobile applications created, and you can do social posting to try and bring more buyers to the table. Third, under this Elite program, it's gonna create a website for any expired listings. We saw that last week. You find them in the MLS and you wish to get a listing presentation, all you've gotta do is go find that same listing in realtor.com, which it's there. Take the URL in realtor.com, put it onto the request, the Elite program request form, shoot it up to your a virtual assistant, next day it's in your free agent marketing account and you're gonna deliver your, your, your uh, coffee mug with all your marketing materials to the expired. Number four, you're gonna create a property website for any FISBO, which we're gonna talk about today, that you find within Zillow that you wish to get a listing presentation. Number five, it's gonna post any of your active listings, which means that once an expired becomes your active, once a FISBO becomes your active, or it's another agent's listing that you have permission to advertise, you now can go into your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, and others, and they will do the posting for you, taking the $10 an hour work away from you. It's also gonna post your virtual tour. The virtual tour that you got for free from Asia Marketing is gonna get posted into your YouTube channel. Critically important, if you're gonna do, say, 24 listings this year, wouldn't it be great if you had 24 videos in your, in your YouTube channel? It's the biggest, best way of branding yourself in the internet is with video. So when somebody Googles, I'm looking for a realtor that does, that helps people buy or sell real estate in Naperville, Illinois, and you've got 24 videos in your YouTube channel with Naperville properties, and YouTube is owned by Google. Google will look inside YouTube, see 24 videos in Naperville, and your channel becomes the answer to that question. Then once again, you're gonna post once a month in, it will also post once a month into three social media sites, generic content about you. What I mean by that is they'll do a generic post for you, like what is your home worth? Contact Ronaldo Ruiz. Um, why list with me? And it's also gonna be, you know, again, going into your three social media sites. It's also gonna create a dynamic personal website for you. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the websites that Agent Marketing can create, but here is an example of one. This was all created by Agent Marketing for Fernando Frias. Why choose me, my listings, what I do for sellers, a drop down, my secret selling tools, setting a price, net sales proceeds, what's your home worth, find a home, what I do for buyers, how much can I afford, mortgage types, credit score, need down payment assistance, how to buy a home for 1%, get pre-approved, contact me. Again, if this is something that, that you think is useful, helpful to you, look at the Elite Program. Create landing pages for your Facebook and other advertising. Um, again, today we're on Fizbo's. Um, what I mean by that is whenever you do a Facebook post, and here's a, an example of a Facebook post. So it's considering you know, selling your home by owner, you know, would you like to get a free property website, a free yard sign, a mobile application? Claim your free FISBO kit. See this link right here? FISBO, GM, my initials get more information. When I click on that, it's gonna take them to a landing page. This is free within agent marketing. Your virtual assistant can create this for you in agent marketing, kind of, kind of very cool. Again, going back to what else it will do for you is it'll help track your leads and stay in contact with them. 
Uh, Agent Marketing has a free CRM. Um, it let, let your virtual assistant, her name is Hillary, help you set it up and help you set up campaigns to stay in front of your leads. So again, going back to my agenda, the reason I bring that up to you is I think it's a bargain at $28 a month going down to $35 a month to help you grow your business. If I could free up an hour of your time creating a property website, if I could free up an hour of your time doing social posting, that would allow you two hours each day to go out and prospect for expires, for FISBOs, to advertise other agents' listings. So I'm just trying to be you know, helpful in that, in that respect. So again, going back to our agenda. Um, so again, the elite program is gonna help save you time. So for five minutes in the morning, you're gonna do, let, let's talk about what we're gonna do for that five minutes in the morning. We're gonna do prospecting. We're gonna do $200 an hour work. That's what we get paid for as, as, as realtors, to prospect, to talk to people. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna search ZillowILFISBO.com uh, and we're gonna select one FISBO. We're then gonna search the MLS to make sure that that home is not listed. We're gonna copy the Zillow URL and we're gonna paste it into the elite request form. And then your virtual assistant will return your FISBO property website in 24 hours. So let's see how long this takes us. So we go back over here and we're looking for, see if I can get this out of the way. If I go over here to Zillow, Zillow, there's Zillow. And let's just back it up. You know, the first thing I did was I went to, um, in fact, I can even, I can even close it out. Let's, let's, let's start from the beginning. So if you go to Zillow, so I'm going to go to uh, www.zillow.com forward slash IL for Illinois forward slash FISBO. And it says there's 2,622 results. Well, we're not gonna be doing all of 2,622. But let's just say for sake of discussion, you wanted to do Naperville. So you do Naperville and it comes back and it says there's 12 results for Naperville. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're looking for a property and let's just take this one here, $489,000. It's on Thackeray Court. Okay, so what I would do is I would click on it. The next step in our outline said, then take the address, this 1219 Thackeray, and let's copy it and let's put it into our MLS. Okay, so let's see if I have the MLS open here. I may, I may not. I do. Okay, so here it is open. Let's go to my MLS. Oh, page expired, okay. Again, you guys know better than me, but let's see where we, where we end up. I'll just, I'll re-log back in. That's probably gonna be the easiest way to do this. So let's sign out, let's sign back in. And let's put in the password. Okay, so we're gonna put in the street address right here in your quick search and paste and go find. And we see that Thackeray at one point in time was in the MLS. The purpose of this is to make sure it's not currently listed that for some reason Zillow's system did, didn't have the latest and greatest information. Let's click on the MLS number. When was it closed? And if we look on it, it looks like it was sold 
June 26th of 2019. Well, cool. Um, because again, if we go back to Zillow and we look at some of the history that's going on with this property, it says that, yep, it was sold back in 2019 and that on March the 7th, it's listed for sale. So that's great. It's, it is truly a FISBO. The second, is, second filter that we need to check on is just like in the expireds. We need to make sure that there's going to be furniture in the house such that we can make contact with the, with the people. So again, if you look at the pictures, it looks like we've got furniture both outside and inside. So the people are still living here. So that's, that's, a, that's a great thing. So again, now that we've got this, all we would have to do if we're doing the elite program is copy the link here from Zillow. Copy the link, then go to your form, which I, after class, I'll be sending this out to people uh, as part of the class. Um, you would go over here to your elite request form for agent marketing. Obviously, your name, your email, your cell phone number. This says if it's an active listing, you're advertising another agent's listing, you'll put in the MLS number. If it's an expired, you'll put in the URL from realtor.com. If it's a FISBO, which we're dealing with today, the URL from Zillow goes right here, you paste it. Boom. That gives then your virtual assistant all the pictures, all the information that they need to create your property website. My advice would be to check yes on all these boxes. Yes, I wanna change the property type to number nine FISBO. Um, you'll see when we do it the long way, when we do it manually, the number nine, the, the type number nine takes off your company logo. So let's just say for sake of discussion, you, you were with HomeSmart. Your HomeSmart logo comes off. Your picture comes off. You're not, you don't have a listing agreement with this person. So therefore, you know, it makes no sense for you to be creating a property website with your company and with your contact information. Um, we're going to get it such that the, the text message works. We're going to add the FISBO's name and phone number to the home page. We're going to add monthly taxes and insurance. We're going to add easy listening music to the virtual tour. And we're going to add room sizes to property features so we fill up the brochure and the home page. So with that, that would take us all less than five minutes each morning if we were going after FISBOs. You're going into Zillow, you're making sure that it's not listed by going into your MLS, you're making sure that there's furniture, and then what you're doing is you're copying and pasting the Zillow URL into the Elite form, checking some yes boxes and emailing it off to Hillary at, and here's Hillary's email address right there, elite at agentmarketing.com. Super simple. Okay, going back to, that. so our prospecting is gonna take us all the five minutes, whether we're doing expireds or whether we're doing FISBOs. We pasted it, we sent it off to our virtual assistant. So let's get active. What we're gonna do is we're either gonna call or drop off marketing materials. What I mean by call or drop off, um, what I typically do is I first find the FISBOs before I actually send it off to the virtual assistant or before I create it myself. And, you know, there's two ways of, of making contact. I like to call people. I like to, you know, because again, this is a people business. You can either call or what you can do is you can just drop off material at their house in a wine bag and uh, or mail it to them, either one, but I kind of like to, you know, give it to them personally. And so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be calling your FISBOs because, oh, let's go back. When I say call, all, within Zillow, you're going to have the phone number of all of your FISBO homeowners. So it's easy to call them. And we're going to see that with a script shortly. Then there's going to be, in the, in the script, we're going to be talking about giving them three free things. We're going to give them a sign writer for their front lawn to help them get more buyers. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to offer to give them free, we're going to run free credit reports on interested buyers to protect their family from people who have four or 500 credit scores from walking through their home. 
And last but not least, we're, we can do a FISBO open house with the FISBO in the house, totally optional. But again, you're, it's, it's a, a touch point. You're trying to put yourself above what your competition is doing. Remember, your competition is sending out a postcard. Remember, your competition is making a phone call, trying to impress them that they might have a buyer. Can I come over and see the home? What you're doing is you're saying, let me help you get more buyers. Are you interested in getting more buyers? So I need someone to, uh, to play along with me in a little bit of a role play. And I'm going to see if I can uh, unmute one of my wonderful participants here. Um, let's see here. Is Aaron, is, Aaron, can you unmute yourself? I'll try to unmute you. Okay, can you hear me? I can certainly hear you. Uh, thank you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up what's called the, um, the script, which again, some people are gonna say, I wanna call the FISBO. Um, and so we're gonna, we're gonna use this script. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, at least show you guys where you can find the phone numbers within Zillow. So again, here's Zillow. And if we go all the way down near the bottom, Do you see the property owner right there? 630-479-8352. So I, I would say 99 out of 100 times, because I mean, I maybe have seen it one out of 100 where there's no phone number, but people, people put their home in Zillow because they want to try and sell it. That means they want to be contacted. So we do have phone numbers. So with that opportunity, this is a suggested script. Again, you can, it's a Word document. When I send it to you, you can change it any way you like. Um, I'll pretend I'm the, the realtor. Aaron, why don't, you, why don't you pretend that you're the FISBO? Okay. And uh, anything in red is, your, is what you have to read. Can you, can you see the script okay on your computer? Yes. Great. So let's do a little, little role playing here. So it's a little bit of ring, ring, hello, may I please talk with um, Mr. and Mrs. FISBO? Uh, yes, this is she. Um, is your home at uh, 123 Main Street still available for sale? Yes, it is. Well, my name is Glenn Marino and I'm a real estate professional. I noticed that you're selling your home by owner and I do not want to interfere with that process. However, may I help get you more buyers to purchase your home? You are interested in getting more buyers to look at your home, correct? Yes. How can you get me more buyers though? Well, I noticed that you do, you do have a 1-800 sign in your front lawn, correct? Yes. So is it fair to say that if a buyer wants to see your home, say the kitchen, the dining room, or the bedrooms, they'd have to call you and set up an appointment through that 1-800 sign to be able to walk through your home, correct? Yes. Well, how's the activity? Uh, how many potential buyers have you had come through the house? A few. Well... I believe, and I hope that you believe, I believe more buyers today would rather text for information about your home than to have to call a sign, get an appointment either immediately or hours later or a day later to walk through your home. Um, do, you, do you also believe that texting would be a, a more appropriate way to get buyers to see your home? Yes. Well, I'd like to help you get more buyers by giving you three free things. Free is good. Do you like free things? Yes. Well, first, uh, let's, let's make sure of a couple things here. You live on what street? Main Street, correct? Yep. Well, for free, I'd like to put a sign writer in your front lawn that says, for more information on this beautiful home, text the word Main, because that's the name of your street, to 79564. In seconds, potential buyers can be at curbside and see all the pictures of all the rooms in your home right on their smartphone. They'd get a photo gallery, they'd get a virtual tour, and much more. Can you envision more buyers seeing the beauty and the features of your home from curbside while just sitting in their car? Yes, I can. 
Oh, why is this my lucky day that you want to put a sign writer in my lawn to help me get more buyers for free? What's the catch? What's in it for you? Aha, uh -huh. good question. How many people can actually buy your home? It's only one person that can buy it, correct? Correct. Let's assume that I attract three potential buyers to look at the beauty and the feature of your home with my sign writer and with that text call capture technology. And we both agree that only one of those potential buyers could possibly buy your home, which then gives two other buyers to me and I can have the opportunity to show them someone else's home. It's a win-win. It's a win for you if one of them is the potential buyer for your home. It's a win for me if I get two additional people to show someone else's house to. Do you see the win-win strategy here? For sure. Well, secondly, my team and I would propose to increase the safety and security of your home for your family. Notice what I'm trying to do is I haven't talked to them. Uh, you know, this is now an editorial comment. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to keep them on the phone. I'm trying not to say, hey, I think I have a potential buyer for your home. Can I, can I stop by? Because, um, again, they've heard that from 10, 12 different realtors. What I want to do is I want to be a green fish. I want to be totally somebody different. I want to engage them in the process of seeing how I can help them, how you can help them get more buyers. So when you're looking, you know, it's not about you, it's about them. When you're talking about how you can help them, they're going to stay on the phone with you. So secondly, my team and I would propose to increase the safety and security of your home and your family. As a real estate professional, I would never hold an open house by myself, allowing strangers to come into my home that I was selling. You should not allow strangers to enter your home knowing nothing about them. For free, my team and I would run a credit report on each person that texts for information on your home and verify their income to make sure they have the necessary credit and income to purchase your home. Someone with a 400 credit score should not be allowed in your home as they can only be looking for security breaches or for some of your collectibles that are of interest to them. Have you or your wife raised any concerns about allowing strangers into your home with knowing nothing about them? Yes, we are a bit concerned. Well, third, do you have any plans to host an open house to attract more buyers? No, we haven't thought about holding any open houses yet. And again, an editorial comment, most FISBOs don't hold open houses. So here again, you're interjecting your experience and your abilities and you're saying my team and I would hold a FISBO open house, not this weekend, but the following weekend so that we have enough time to post this event into eight of the busiest social media sites. Remember that elite program? Remember Hillary at Agent Marketing? She can now, you know, create the property website and post that you're having an open house this particular weekend. That's just an aside. We would organize and host this open house for free for you. Would you like a free open house? Yes. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Fizzo, may I please have 30 minutes of your time to demonstrate my th uh, free three-point system? I'd like one to show you a sample of the sign writer that I put in your lawn. I demonstrate how to text and download your complete home with all of its pictures into cell phones and the cell phones of potential buyers. Number two, I'd like to discuss how my team would run credit reports, verifying the income to protect the safety and security of your family. And third, I'd like to discuss how my team would conduct an open house with you to attract more buyers. Would next Monday or Tuesday be a good day to meet and what time? Next Tuesday would be great at seven o'clock. Terrific. Well, Mr. Fisbo or Mrs. Fisbo, may I have your email address as I'd like to email to you a property website, the text messaging number, and other marketing materials that I've already created for you. I, I mean, should bold that. The word already created is, is important, that I've already created for you. I'd like you to review them before our meeting next Tuesday. Sure, my email is glenn.marino.gm at gmail.com. Great, I'll, I'll email you these marketing materials today and I look forward to meeting with you next Tuesday. Have a great day. You're done with the conversation. The green down there says, okay, agents, get busy creating the property website in agent marketing. And now you're going to email the seller's email and your FISBO cover letter to them. 
So again, you may not necessarily talk like this. And Aaron, what's your initial reaction to, you know, having a conversation like this with a FISBO? Do you think that they would be open to, you know, to having a, a further meeting or a conversation or receiving marketing materials to help them get more buyers to protect their family? Yes, absolutely. And I've actually done the other script where you're talking about, um, I've, I've called before and said, hey, I might have a buyer. I'm putting together a portfolio of properties that are not listed. So I've done the other route. And this one seems like it would be, it would go over a lot better than that one. Well, terrific, terrific. Well, again, so now that we have, and, and what I typically would do is I would then put, you could do, you know, in the morning, you could make three or four phone calls, you know, or three or four, going to Zillow, get three or four potential FISBOs, put them onto your master lead sheet and start making the phone calls to see who's going to answer and who's going to have this conversation with you. Again, this will be a Word document, change it up the way you talk, not the way Glenn talks and have conversations. That's $200 an hour work. That's worth your while to get on the phones and see if you can't get someone to like the, the opportunity for you to help them get more buyers. Because again, in the back of our minds is we're going to, you know, then be going to a meeting now at seven o'clock on Tuesday, 7 p.m. on Tuesday, and we're now gonna prepare for five minutes, we're gonna prepare a coffee mug with Hershey Kisses and marketing materials in it that we're going to deliver and we're gonna talk about our three free things. Um, so let's, let's go back to our uh, agenda here real quickly. Um, so we're getting active, we've called the FISBO, um, we're looking to put a sign writer in the front lawn for a win-win, we're looking to do credit reports to protect their family. And by the way, obviously it would be me or some, be me and my team or it would be somebody else that you use as your, as your preferred lender. And it's optional. You don't even have to do the FISBO open house. I say it's optional, but it's another touch point. If you don't mind doing that, remember, you know, if the FISBO is in the house for the net, even if you did a two hour open house, you've got the FISBO captive for two hours. If you get to, you know, you get to talk about their family, you get to talk about what they do for fun, you get to do what they, you get to talk about what their occupations are, you get to talk about what their dreams and their goals are, where they're going. And just so you know, when I talk to people, in the back of my mind, I always have the acronym FROG, F-R-O-G, when I'm talking to somebody. So if I've got a FISBO and I'm gonna be in their house for the next two hours, I'm gonna to talk to them F about family, I'm gonna to talk to them R about recreation and fun, what they do, I'm gonna to talk to them about O about occupation, and I'm going to talk about Gia's goals and where are they going? They're selling this house. Where are they going from here? Because maybe I can help them on the next step in the whole process. So again, um, open houses, you're going to become, you're going to bond with this FISBO a lot more. And then when it comes down to every Monday, you're going to do all of this. You're going to do all of this at your meeting with them. When you come now at seven o'clock on Tuesday and you're going to show them a sample of that sign writer and you're going to talk to them about the free credit report, et cetera, you say, I'm going to do all this for free, provided you accept my phone call every Monday. What I don't want is another realtor who's a postcard, another realtor who can sing and dance better than you and I to get on top of the deck of cards. They already have, you already have your sign writer in their front lawn, but I want every Monday for you to call them and say, hey, Glenn and Rose, it's Aaron. How you doing? How was the weekend? What kind of volume did you have? You know, you can start out with how are those bears, bulls, and any, any other sport, you know, the Cubs and the Sox. But then how was the weekend? When they say, oh, you know, in the very beginning when they first start out, oh, it was uh, a rainy weekend, we got one person. But next, you know, they're optimists. Next weekend's gonna be better. But by the time they get to that third and fourth week, as soon as you start hearing negativity, you're gonna see then all of a sudden we're gonna talk about option number two but I want you to be in front of them every single Monday, having conversation with them. And when they're ready to say, I no longer want to be a FISBO, who better than the person who did a FISBO open house for them, who's been running credit reports and protecting their family, who put a sign writer in their front lawn for free, to, then to convert to them, to, to put a listing into the MLS and give them greater exposure. 
it kicks everybody else to the curb. It makes them throw out the postcards because you've become that friend, that, that bonded person, that trusted person that's going to help them. So we did 11.5, we, we role played, and after the call, you're gonna send the elite request form to your virtual assistant, and, and they, as we did before, we pasted it, you can send it up to your virtual assistant at elite.agentmarketing.com, or you can manually prepare the physical property website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go through with you guys the manual way to do it. Some of you might say, I don't wanna do virtual assistants, I don't wanna pay $28, I don't wanna pay $35 a month, I want to do it myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the instructions on how to create a property website. So this I will also send out to you all these handouts that I bring up on the computer here on the screen. They'll be given to you guys as part of an email out to you guys after class. So how to create a property website. So it says click on the properties tab, click add new. We're going to fill in three screens. So let's start doing that. So let's go over here to agent marketing. We know we're gonna be doing Zillow here. Let's go over here to agent marketing. I just have to find what tab it's in. So let's go and open up. If I can't get back, it's not there. All right, let's just open up Agent Marketing. Let's make it easy. So go to Agent Marketing, I'm gonna log in. Aaron, since you were the wonderful person that uh, did that script with me, I'm going to put this FISBO into your account, unless you totally object to it, which I doubt you will. So let's go over here to agents. Let's go over here to Aaron. Let's log into Aaron. Okay, so the first thing the instruction said was go to your property tab, go to properties and click add new. So everybody see add new? Let's click add new. It then says auto pull from the MLS or add your own listing. Well. It's not in the MLS, it's a FISBO. So it says, I'm gonna add my own listing and here's the three screens or three steps. Step one, step two, step three that we're gonna go through. So add your own listing. The first screen says, what is the ad it's address information? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to Zillow. I'm doing this 12 Thackeray Court. So what I typically do for address is I copy the whole address. This is what I would do if I had, uh, if I was doing an expired, and I was working with the data from the MLS. I would copy the address. I would go back here to agent marketing and I would paste the entire amount, city, state, and zip into the address section. When you do that, agent marketing is tied into Google Maps and it shows, okay, this is Thackeray Court, not Thackeray Lane, so click on Court. It fills in all of the screens for me. There is no MLS number yet until you, it, become, it goes from a FISBO it goes to a, um, it goes to your, your listing. So leave that blank. The property type, this is, I want you to make a mental note or a written note. Notice it, last week we did single family for the expired. Today, because we want the, uh, the uh, logo of your company to be taken off the property website, we want your picture and contact information taken off. We're gonna come all the way down here to number nine, to FISBO. What that does is opens up a screen down here called FISBO information, which we'll fill in in a, in a minute. Let's finish this off. And the price here, what was the price? $489,000. So we're gonna put in 489,000. Now, that's 4 million, 489,000, okay? And let's now fill in contact information. It just said owner. So again, you can either put in homeowner or owner. I'll put in home owner. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Zillow and here's the homeowner. There's their phone number. Let's, I'm not copying, so I'll just write it down. 
479-8352. So let's go back over here to Agent Marketing and they can be reached at 630 and that is 479 and that is 8352. Okay, there is no email address and the evening phone is the same as the daytime phone. So you've got what you need here. Now, in contrast, remember the price? What did we put in when we did the expire? We did not put in the price that was in the MLS. That was the price from six months ago. We put in the number one, again, just helping those that weren't here last week, we put the number one in the price for an expired, and that's a code to the computer that on the home page of your property website, and on every one of your nine brochures, it does not have a price. It only says call for a price. And you call the agent, call for price. You do not want to buy us an expired with a price and you've never even sat down with them yet and done a CMA. So just contrasting the FISBO approach versus the expired approach. The FISBO, they got a price in the, in, in the uh, Zillow. They're selling for 489. So with that, hit proceed and it's going to bring you to step number two. So click proceed, you're on to step number two. So I need some help here, bedrooms and bathrooms. So let's go over here. Um, it says it's five, five bedrooms, three baths, 31, 26 and square feet. So square feet is 31, 26. Uh, we got five bedrooms. We got three baths. Is it three or three and a half? Let's see. Three baths, okay. So let's see if we can get some more information on this house. It's been on Zillow for 18 days. It's a three car garage, okay. It was built in 1996. I'll have a tough time remembering 10,454, but I'll see if my memory does well in 1996. So let's go back over here to here. The garage was three. It was built in 1996. And the lot square footage was 10,454. Cool. The title and the instructions that when I send them to you again after class, it's going to say for title, make a sandwich out of it. Two loaves of bread and in between is the meat. The two loaves of bread should be uh, the number of bedrooms and the other loaf of bread should be city and state because when people go to Google and they put in a search, I'm looking for, they, they look for their need. They need a five bedroom home for sale in Naperville, Illinois. So we're gonna put in here five and just like a newspaper headline, make the first letter of each word capitalized. So five bedroom, and then what we're gonna do is put a dash and we're gonna go, this is in Naperville, Illinois. And then in between here, we're gonna to go to the remarks and we're gonna take, it's something sensational. You got three words that you can put in there. So what is sensational about this? Well, let's find out. Sometimes they'll put in, why, why, what did you fall in love with this house about? Let's see if we have that. Well, here's what I, what I love about this house. And here's read more, okay. So what, here's our description. So grab this five bedrooms, three full baths in Ashbury subdivision. Copy it. You're gonna put it then into your property website in description. Description has unlimited characters. So just paste it in there. And then if you want, you can even go back and put in what I love about this house. So again, down here, what I love about this home, Grab it, copy it, go back over here to your agent marketing and paste it in. The other thing your instructions then ask you to take a look at 
And, and the FISBOs are really good about it. They get it. But sometimes when you do the expired, a lot of, you know, in the older days, and I see less and less of it, but a lot of realtors used to abbreviate. They would abbreviate FRPLs for fireplaces and DRs for dining rooms and uh, SS appliances. We know what it is, but you got to remember an eighth grader is reading this. And the eighth grader that's reading this, it has to be smooth. It has to be all spelled out. So what I'm saying here is make sure that we don't have a lot of abbreviations in this it's all nicely spelled out. With that, you're done with step number two, screen number two, click proceed, and it moves on to step number three, which is name the website. So again, it, uh, in agent marketing, it starts out with www.1219thackercourt. I'm a big believer in abbreviating as much as you can, so I'm gonna take court and make it CT, just so it's fewer letters that people can screw up if they're trying to type something. And then there's an implied dot, and then there's what's called a subdomain. And you have all these different subdomains that you can pick from. Pick something that's generic, besthomearound.com. Okay, let's pick that. So now the name of the website is www.1219thackercourt.besthomearound.com. And then to make it easy, your instructions say pick a layout. Just pick layout 17. It's the latest, it's the greatest. You notice as compared to this darker screen, I like. I like bright. I like things that I can easily see and read. It's, it's also very mobile friendly. So pick layout 17, you pick a color. Uh, today, I'm gonna pick cranberry. Uh, so, you, so you select color, cranberry, and you pick choose. Uh, just so you know, the most widely selected color in the internet is denim or blue, because psychologists say more people stay on blue sites than any other site, but today I'm picking cranberry. So pick choose. With that, you're done with, because it's just gonna show you a whole bunch of other layouts, you're done with your third step, hit proceed. With that, it says, hey, Victory, your property's been successfully added to your, to your dashboard. Now you need to add pictures. So again, this is the, the middle step is now add the pictures. So in the instructions, it says, click this blue link, add more files. But we're not going to add more files until we have the pictures on our computer. Right now, they're in Zillow. Just like when we did the expireds, where were the pictures? The pictures were in the MLS. We had to take them out of the MLS, download them, and put them into, um, and then upload them into our agent marketing. We're going to do similar to that. We're going to open up Zillow. We're going to go to the very first picture. We're going to click on it. We're gonna make, those are all big pictures now. There's 41 of them. For the sake of the class, so that you guys don't kill me, I am not gonna upload 41 pictures, but I will upload you know, a fair amount that we can at least get a virtual tour and other things created. So all I need to do is I'm gonna go right click, I'm gonna say, save the image as. When I save the image as, it typically will go, I want it to go to my desktop, I want to create a new folder. Um, this is on Thacker Court. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this Thacker Court. I'm gonna open up Thacker Court. And now what I'm gonna, oh, hang on. This is not, the reason I'm saying hold on, it's very important that you see this. Save as type. Do you see where it says web file? That will not get uploaded into any property website system. It needs to be a JPEG. So we're gonna cancel this, because again, save the, saving the image as, and it's giving us that. So let's cancel that for a second. Let's go back. And if we were to click on here, the, this image, save the image as, it's still a web page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the next best thing. What we're gonna do is go to your big pictures. What we'll do is we will use Jing then, this little ray of sunshine. J-I-N-G is free screen capture software. So all you're gonna do is the, the, of the three rays of sunshine, the one to the left is your capture, is your capture um, ray of sunshine. And you're gonna go upper left, to lower right, it creates a JPEG for you. Capture it, and what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be saving it. 
captures captures there, save it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it into our desktop. We're going to put it into our Thacker Court folder. There's Thacker, and we're going to save it. Let's go to the next picture. Oh, that's still in front of the house. We got 41 to, and again, I don't know about you guys, but I, I would not necessarily have a bedroom as my second picture, um, but they do. And this, again, you can help them as, as you move along. So again, let's go to Jing, upper left, lower right. Let's capture it. Let's copy it. Let's put it into I'm sorry, not copy, we're gonna save it. So again, let's go back to, to Jing. Let's capture it. You can even take this portrait. These pictures are going to be deleted, just so you know, because um, in, in order at your meeting on Tuesday at 7 p.m., one of the conversations you're gonna have is, I need you to send me all of your pictures that you have permission to share with me. Portraits of home, they may, this may be property of portraits of home. It is a private website. It is not in the internet. You're not sharing it with anyone, just like when you do an expired. But you're going to need to have the homeowner, a lot of them have taken their own pictures, so they will email you, even if they're the same pictures that you've downloaded or saved and put onto this website, you, or in this case, they need to get the permission of portraits of home to allow somebody else to, to you know, like yourself, to use for this property website so that it can be shown via that mobile application, that it can be shown in the property website. Um, so again, it's a private, I wouldn't be concerned about it in just showing it to them, but before it becomes a mobile application, before you're gonna allow them to, before you put that sign writer in the front lawn, you're gonna see something with written permission to be able to use portraits of home. So again, here, we're going to capture it, we're going to save it, it's gonna go saving to Thatcher, hit save. Let's go to the next picture. That's the back of the house. Again, we can, we can I'll, I'll reserve that. Uh, here's a nice back part of the house. Again, they're not necessarily in the order that I would walk through the house, I would walk through the front door and then but I'm gonna show you how to rearrange the photos. Let's capture it, let's save it, and click save. Let's go to the next one. Again, back of the house, we've got more patio. Here's your front door. Okay, let's get inside the house here. So let's grab the capture, upper left, lower right, Capture, save, and hit save. Let's go to the next picture. Uh, it's the, the front entrance again. It's a bathroom. I'm going to pass on it for sake of closet. Let's pass on it. Let's get the dining room. Okay, so let's go capture it again with Jing, upper left, lower right. Capture, we're going to save it. We're going to Thatcher Court folder, hit save. Let's go to the next picture. Dining room again, pass on it, dining room again. Okay, this looks like some sort of family room with the fireplace. So let's go ahead and grab Jing, upper left, lower right. Let's capture it, let's save it, and click save again. Let's go to the next picture. Kitchen, very important. Let's grab that kitchen. So here's our kitchen, upper left, lower right. Let's capture it. Let's save it. And let's hit save again. Let's go to the next picture. Kitchen again. I always think kitchens are good more than one picture. So let's grab a second picture of the kitchen. So go upper left, lower right. Let's capture it, let's save it, and let's hit save again. All right, let's 
get out of the kitchen. Looks like the master bedroom to me. So let's go capture again, upper left, lower right. Let's capture it. Let's save it. And hit save again. Let's go to the next picture. Still master bedroom, master bath. Let's capture it, upper left, lower right. Let's capture, let's save, and hit save again. Let's go to the next picture, still master bath. You got the outside. Here's, a, here's bedroom number two. Let's grab it, upper left, lower right. Capture, save, hit save again. Let's go to the next picture. This could be another bedroom, it looks like, with a, a, uh, a day bed. So this could be bedroom number three. Let's grab it. It's upper left, lower right. Capture, save, and hit save again. I think I'll grab another two pictures and then let's be done. Not that you would be done, but you know, let's be done. This is the outside. Some sort of living room off of the front door. This looks like the lower level. Let's take a picture of the lower level and let's be done. Again, I'm picking and choosing only because for sake of time with the class. But again, your virtual assistant would take all of these. You should take all of them only because the for sale by owner person took the time to take all these pictures. So save this, save it. Okay, once you've got all your pictures where you want, you're gonna once again go back to agent marketing. Your instructions say click add more files. You're gonna add more files. We're looking for my desktop and we're looking for the folder that says Thatcher Court. Open it up. With that, we're going to highlight all the pictures. They're all highlighted. Click open. They get downloaded into what's called the upload bucket here. And what you're going to do then is click this button called upload. So you click the upload and now it's uploading all the pictures. Creating thumbnails for you. And here's all your beautiful pictures. Now, in your instructions, it says, see this crossbar? It says, you can move around the pictures. And I would put it the way that you would walk through the house. First off, after the front of the house, I want to walk through the front door. The bedroom belongs in the bedrooms. Uh, the backyard definitely belongs in the backyard. Um, We've got, I would rather come into the kitchen right after the front door. So I'm going to do my kitchen. I got another kitchen picture here. Bring that up. From the kitchen, I might serve dinner in the dining room. I might then retreat to the family room. Then I'm going to start to look at bedroom one, bedroom two. Um, here's a bedroom three. Here's a bedroom. Here's the master bath. So I'm going to bring this back up here by the master bedroom. Here's another bedroom. I'm gonna bring that here. There's the outside patio and here's the basement. Again, shortened version, but you would have all 41 pictures if you were doing it yourself or you would have your virtual assistant. With that, let's go back to our instructions and see what it says that we should be doing. So if we go here, we've done all this, we've added in, the property type, bedrooms and bathrooms. We named it. We did layout 17 as the recommended. We did the color. We uploaded pictures. We clicked add more files. We clicked upload. We moved them around by, by grabbing the crossbar. Now it says add your monthly taxes and insurance. Okay, so where would we find that? Find that? We're gonna find that in Zillow. Because again, one of the one of the one of the uh, tabs within agent marketing is a sheet that says, you know, what's the monthly payment? 
So we want to put in our taxes and insurance. So let's go up here and let's see if we can't find some facts. HOA is $45 a month. I see that right there. Um, then let's go down here and see if we can't find Forty-five a month should be a, a tab here in Zillow for price and tax history. Okay, there's your price. Here's your taxes. Your taxes are eleven thousand. Whoop! Sorry about that. Your taxes are eleven thousand three eighty-six which is just under $1,000 a month. So then let's go over and put that into agent marketing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to return to our list of properties. Erin had this, her listing is on Wood, Woodview Court. We're doing, see what it says FISBO when we said uh, property type was, a, was number nine of FISBO, it puts a little green Bubble lets us know it's a FISBO. And what we're gonna do is we're going to then click the um, edit pencil. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add in under property, we're gonna add in HOA dues, you said was 45 a month. The monthly taxes, I'm just gonna be, you know, you would divide it by 12 at 11,000, but it's gonna be like $995. And the insurance, we're gonna take a guesstimate on a property that's worth almost 450. Let's just say for sake of discussion, it's about $150 a month. These are all monthly numbers that it's calling for. With that, you're going to hit save. Let's go back to our instructions. The instructions then say, Let's strengthen it. Let's add music. So when our virtual tour plays, we want it to be stronger in the internet. We want music because Google likes things that are stronger, puts it higher up on search requests or, or answers to searches. So let's add music. How do we add music? Again, go back to your agent marketing. To add music, you're gonna go to, under your, your FISBO here, you're gonna go to tools. And under tools, Scroll down, halfway down there's music selection. Click music. Um, let's go with what I call the, the new music is new. Glenn likes the legacy music, so we're gonna take legacy, which there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different genres of music. So again, the genre that I'm gonna pick is easy listening. I'm gonna pick, these are all play buttons. You can play whatever music you like by clicking the play button. Stop the music by clicking it again, put a black radio dial in there. You're also gonna change music on the homepage in the virtual tour. You only want it on the virtual tour. Why? When people are in a open office environment, if they're now looking at property websites or they're doing a search in the internet for homes and they find your property website, and all of a sudden when they open it up, the first thing that they hear is music. They go, oh my God, my boss might hear that I'm playing music in my cubicle. They're gonna shut down your website. We want them to stay on the website. So only play your music on the virtual tour and hit save. Okay, go back to your instructions. Your instructions then say, let's put a front street banner. Just so you know, if you wanna make a mental note or written note, there is no need for a front page banner on layout 17 that we selected. It has a pre-filled in banner that says this is available. Number three says add property features. Okay, and again, the way we add property features, if we were doing expired, we would, cap, we would copy and paste the different room sizes, the living room, the dining room, 14 by 10, a kitchen, 17 by 20. You, know, you, would, you would copy and paste those into agent marketing. For a FISBO, they don't typically give you room sizes, but they do give you features. So let's go back over here to our property website. Let's return back to 
our listing. And again, if we click on tools, um, we're, yeah, but again, to get to, I'm gonna say property features, we're gonna go all the way back to list. Instead of clicking tools, we're gonna to click edit. And under edit, we're gonna click property. And if you see under property, there's something called features. And under features, we can put in all the different features of the house. So let's again, go over here. I won't do them all, but let's just see what some of them might be so that again, you get an idea as to how you should be operating. So if we look at the property. I mean, we already told them it's five bedrooms and three baths. Um, you know, it's the basement is finished. Okay, that's that's a nice feature. So copy it, and what you can do is come over here and you're gonna paste. Go back over here and again start reading what you think is important. Um, you've got central air cooling feature. Copy and paste it. We'll do maybe two more and then, then you get the idea. I mean, there's the appliances. Again, you can highlight that. You got gas forced air. Copy it and paste it. And again, let's go back for one more and you get the idea as to what you need to put in your fireplace. Nice feature, copy it, put it into your features. All these features go on your homepage of your property website. They also go into your um, nine different brochures that the system creates for you. So once you've added, and there should be more, all your features, you're gonna hit save. So once again, let's go back to our instructions and see what else it asks us to do. We've added features. It then says the only thing left for you to do is only after you have a signed listing agreement do you activate the site, which makes sense. It's not an active listing at this time. So let's go back here. Let's see what you guys created today. So let's click on the property website. I wanna point out a couple of cool things. As it's downloading and being presented here on the computer. First off, do you see up in the upper left corner, it says for sale by owner. That normally would have been your company's logo, HomeSmart, um, um, you know, Remax, whoever you happen to work for, that would have been in this upper left corner. It also would have been down here where it says for sale by owner and the daytime phone number. Um, that would have been your picture. It would have been your contact information. I don't know about you guys, but if put yourself in the, in the shoes of a for sale by owner. You know, nobody's come to them and said, hey, I got this cool website that's got your, your phone number that people can download this from a sign that I'm gonna put in your front lawn for free. Yeah, it's gonna cost you guys $17 to order a sign writer for the front lawn. And I'll show you how to order it. It's a little different when you order a sign writer for a for sale by owner. You're not gonna do the hard plastic. You're gonna do something with like the honeycomb weave in it. It's called Cory Plast. You'll order it, there's, there's no difference in the cost for it, but you're gonna to go to Home Depot and you're gonna get an H-frame that you're gonna stick two ends of the H-frame up into the Cory Plast and the other two into the ground. And now people can see as they drive by for more information on this house, text, you know, in this case, Thackeray to 79564. In fact, since this is kind of cool, let's see what we got here. We got a photo gallery. And again, people can then take a look at all the wonderful pictures that you've uploaded. Very cool. Theoretically, you would have had 41 pictures. You're going to have a virtual tour with music. Very cool. You're then gonna have a, a property map. Property map is gonna show someone obviously that's in the internet where this, your house is located. They say, that's kind of cool. I'd like to drive though and physically see the neighborhood. I'd like a map, some instructions. If they put their phone number in down here, 
say send map, it sends to the customer a map quest with directions, turn left, turn right, how to get to your property. The other thing it does is it, it emails and texts you, the realtor, that somebody just texted for driving directions to your property at Thackeray Court. Kind of cool. Um, it also comes with what's called an aerial view. The aerial view shows, okay, this is the subject property right here. There's your little house. But you notice that the, my mouse is in the form of a mitt, a hand. And if I left click and I drag it and I start to move around, I can start to see as if I'm flying in a helicopter. Oh, I'm not a, the white elephant. I've got other nice houses in the neighborhood that are similar styles. You know, they should be similarly priced. Um, this is a nice residential area, kind of a cool thing to do. The other thing that it comes with is a street view. Street view allows somebody to drive the neighborhood as if they're in a virtual car. I am not going to do that. But you, what I will typically do is I take this compass here, this little red and silver compass, and I left click, and it allows me to go around at street view to see if the neighbor across the street has um, you know, a chicken coop or has rusty cars or has something, you know, on milk crates sitting in his driveway that makes it an unsightly neighborhood or I don't want him for my neighbor. So again, kind of cool feature that allows him to see the neighborhood. In addition to that, there's payment information, which I won't click on, 30 year, 15 year adjustable rate. It does come with more information, find out more. When they click on it, see people can ask, put in their first name, their last name, their phone number, email, and they'd say, I'd like more information about this property. Hey, I saw the uh, first floor, the second floor, I saw all the bedrooms, but I didn't see the basement. Is it finished or unfinished? How tall are the ceilings? They're trying to get some feel for, can they, is it usable space for them? Or they might even click request a showing and they put in the message down here. Uh, I have nine children, I'd like to bring them over to see if they'd like to run around in this house and this would be kind of a cool place for them. Best time for them you know, to call back is here, and then they have, just have to fill in the uh, puzzle here with no, send a message. Sending the message sends it to you, the realtor, not to the FISBO, and with that, you get to interact with them. You should be saying, I'm, I'm helping and assisting this, this FISBO with the, uh, the marketing of their home. Uh, they request that you get yourself pre-approved before you come into the house. My team will be contacting you, which would be Tony Marino on my team would be contacting them in order to run their credit report. And we would ask that you use FCM Express such that in 10 minutes they could fill out the app and we can get them pre-approved on that same day. You would share that pre-approval with the FISBO and you're gonna be asking for a 2.5% commission. I'm gonna go through that a little more slowly in a second at least I wanted to show you what's on this website first. So more information has, you know, find out more information about the house. Comes with area schools. Uh, when it's a new website, my computer protects me, blocks it, but then it opens it up. And what it does, is it's gonna dot, here's the house here, and it ranks schools from 10 to nine, to eight, to seven, to six, to five, to four, to three, to two, to one. And obviously the 10 schools show up first, and then comes the nines, so again, you can, you know, click on any of these schools, depending upon whether you want elementary, junior highs, the high schools are there, Naperville Central, and people can then click on the website, find out when school begins, what their mission statement is, they can find out um, when spring break is, all those great things that most parents would like to know. Okay, so going back to the property website. It also comes with City demographics. I'm not going to click on it right now, but it's a census information. If I wanted, if I wanted a quieter neighborhood, if I was in a 50, I wanted a 55 and over community, uh, I click on that to see what is the average age of people in the area. If they're 55 and over, I'm happy. If it says that the average age is 25, I know there's going to be a lot of little red wagons and a lot of noise and a lot of playing going around. So again, conversely, if I'm a younger person trying to look at buying a home, I might want to see that the average age is younger in the neighborhood so that my children have playmates. Last but not least, the system comes with nine brochures. One of the nine brochures that you have selected is under that button. So people can click on this. Again, it's a selling point, it's a touch point for you with the FISBO. 
Notice the flyer says for sale by owner. It says homeowner, it has their phone number. It has their description. Um, you can change the color of this. If you don't like black, you want blue, you want green, you want yellow. You can change any of the colors on any of the nine brochures. But again, such a great touch point with the for sale by owner because nobody else, nobody else is preparing a property website, putting a sign writer in their front lawn, trying to capture buyers for them, and providing them with a flyer that they can then put out, put in a circular tube and allow people to see you know, what's available in their home. And just so you see at the bottom of the flyer, um, well not on this particular one, but on other flyers, those features of the different room features shows up at the bottom of some of those flyers. So it does have you know, the text number here. Right now it is live. It is 358-5487. Any of you on this call, if you had your cell phone out, you could text two, if you put in the two, 79564, and you texted 358-5487, the whole property website would download into your cell phone. Kind of cool, it's a nice, easy thing to demonstrate to the FISBO. So again, let's go back to the agenda. We did the long way. Me personally, um, I'd like the, to do it in the five minute method. I'm gonna find it in, in Zillow, I'm gonna copy the link, I'm gonna send it off to my virtual assistant and the next day I'm gonna get an email, I'm gonna get a text message that says it's now my free agent marketing account. So you're, now you're gonna send off the seller's email because remember, Erin asked, I, I, you know, I asked Erin for her, her email. I said I had marketing material that I wanted the FISBO to study before our meeting on Tuesday at 7 p.m. So the seller's email, where is it? The seller's email is back here. It's under tools. If you scroll all the way down, the very bottom, very bottom is hits report, but second from the bottom is seller's email. When you click on it, this is saying, hey, your marketing is ready. It's showing them that you've created six different things. Hey, I've created a property website. Click it, it opens up to the property website. Hey, I've created a virtual tour. It opens up to the virtual tour. Hey, I've created QR codes. Not that I think a lot of people use them, but it's a touch point. You've created them for them. Hey, I've created this really cool text message number. And by the way, I'm gonna show you how to change that to a literal instead of a number. Hey, I've created the, this seller's email. And let's just take a look at it. Isn't this kind of cool? You've got these, the front door, the kitchen, the front of the house offered at. You've got this really cool seller's email that you've already created for them. Going back here, hey, you know, later on, not now, you are not gonna be sharing this in social media until they become your listing, but it is ready to be shared in social media should they decide to, to, to list with you. So again, let's just tease them a little bit. And remember, this is on Thacker Cork, right? So let's change this number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our list of properties. And we're gonna to go to tools under Thackeray. And under tools, there's something called text code. Click on text code display. So here's our number, but I would much rather it say Thackeray. Now, this is a nationwide system from New York to California and Canada. If another agent has Thackeray, it will deny our request and say, pick another one, which then you start to put in the address of the property. But let's put in Thackeray and hit save and see what happens. And it saved it. Now our sign writer says, for instant information, text Thackeray, kind of cool. So then when we go back to our seller's email and we look at what's at the bottom here for the text code, it's now Thackeray. So for those of you that haven't texted yet, grab your phone, put in 79564 where it's going to, in the message section, type in Thackeray and it should download into your cell phone. Kind of a cool, cool thing. Again, to me as a FISBO, I love it. I now have the ability, people are on Thackeray Court, they're in front of my house, 
they see a 1-800 sign that says that they call for an appointment or they can get instant information if they just te text Thackery and my wonderful agent, my because again, you're gonna be a marketing consultant. You're not an agent at this point in time. You got your hat turned around. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be getting buyer leads that you're gonna try and get pre-approved, then bring to them and ask that they, they sign your buyer's agent agreement and pay you a two and a half percent commission. So again, let's look at that a little more slowly, but kind of, kind of again, cool thing, send out the seller's email, and all these things are available for them to click on, open up, and be impressed with you after that phone call conversation. Because the very last thing you said to them was, please give me your email, I got other marketing material that I'd love to share with you. And what you're doing is you're clicking up here on the seller's email, see where it says send? You click the send button, it sends it to you, to Aaron's email, and he, I'm sorry, to the agent, to the agent's email, and then what you guys do is you take it out of your inbox by clicking forward, and in that little white space where, where you forward, you say, hey, Glenn and Rose, this is the marketing material that I want you to study before our seven o'clock Tuesday meeting. Have a great day, I look forward to, to meeting with you to talk about the three free things that I'm going to provide for you. Have a great day. Okay, so let's go back to our agenda. So we role played, we sent the elite form, we sent the seller's email, or you manually prepared the property website, which we did. We sent the seller's email, we just did that. Now, once we sent it, we gotta get ready for the seven o'clock meeting. We've got five minutes in the afternoon. And again, if you do the elite program, you're doing five minutes in the morning, prospecting and sending the link to, to your virtual assistant. And then when it comes back, you're spending five minutes in the afternoon preparing for your face-to-face -face meeting. My suggestion is this, is go to, go to this photo here, prepare this, prepare coffee mugs. This agent put candies in it, I like Hershey Kisses. Again, it's up to you what you like. I want something in the cup that's a nice little gesture, uh, something that also holds your marketing material. Um, if your company has a reddish orange just like HomeSmart, you know, you go to the dollar store, you get yourself a dozen cups for a buck, and you fill it up with Hershey Kisses. I'm going to give you this, this is what I've already done for you, cover sheet that we're about to go over, and you're gonna print that, the one of nine brochures. Remember we clicked the brochure, it was, I had a black frame. I would not roll it, colored side in, I would roll it colored side out so that the FISBO sees that, but you're gonna bring this with you to your seven o'clock meeting. Now, for those of you that don't wanna call, for those of you that don't want to um, have that seven o'clock meeting, you can prepare all of this, Get you know, go to Zillow, find them, have your virtual assistant prepare the property website, prepare your cover letter, print your brochure, put it into, a coffee mug with Hershey Kisses, go to the dollar store, buy wine bags, slide the coffee mug with your marketing material in the wine bag, place it by the front door of the FISBO and put a two by two bright yellow, bright orange, bright lime post-it note that says, hi, I left you a message today, signed Aaron and with the phone number. So again, do it either way, I personally believe you're gonna get more conversions if you meet them face to face and you know, and, and getting through your script and get an appointment to be there at Tuesday at seven o'clock, but you can just deliver and leave a post-it note and then hope that they're gonna give you a call back because they take it inside and they see all the wonderful things you've done for them. So again, going back to our agenda, you're gonna deliver a coffee mug just like we saw with your cover letter, you're only gonna make three changes. There's gonna be, you're gonna print one of the brochures with the FISBO logo and the, and the homeowner's phone number. Colored side out, put it into the Hershey Kisses. You're gonna have them sign and bring with you to the Tuesday meeting at seven o'clock, a no agency agreement. For those that just dropped it off, you're gonna need a no agency agreement ultimately for them to sign. 
because again, you're going to have to let them know that you don't, you don't represent buyers, you don't represent sellers, and your managing broker uh, is going to want you to have them sign that. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look at what that looks like. It looks like this. This is a notice of no agency relationship. It says notice of no, and again, don't go by what Glenn says here. I am not a realtor. Uh, this was given to me by a realtor, but your office may have a different form. The whole, the, the purpose is get a no agency agreement. And if you check that box, um, it says check here if you, rep, you represent, uh, if you re represent either a buyer or a seller. In this case, you wouldn't check the boxes. You don't represent a buyer. You don't represent a seller. You're bringing them marketing materials. You're, you're a marketing consultant. You're putting in their front lawn a sign writer from your marketing system that's going to help them get more buyers, you more buyers, to show properties to. Okay. And that you're going to call them every Monday. And when they get into a point there where they're a little disgruntled, you're going to talk to them about option number two, which we're going to talk about in a second. Okay. So again, going back to our agenda, you have them sign the no agency agreement. You're also going to give them the, what I call, oop, let me back that up. You're also going to have them um, give them the FISBO security checklist. It's a nice reminder of what you talk to them on the phone. So again, the security checklist looks like this. Let's find that. Here it is. It's the for sale by owner security checklist. It says, don't give out your schedule over the phone as to when you're going to be home and not home uh, before scheduling is showing. So again, I'm going to send this out to you guys. You can read it, but it's a nice piece. If you guys want to, it's a, it's a Word document. You want to put your name on it. You want to put your logo on it, your phone number. Feel free to do that. It's a nice touch piece again for you to hand to the FISBO. Again, going back to your agenda. Enter the FISBO onto your master lead sheet. Absolutely, if, if you do, if you, again, I, I can't emphasize enough the way my mind thinks, the way I think you guys could be growing your business. If I spend five minutes in the morning in Zillow, finding a FISBO and send it up to my virtual assistant, I did one a day for five minutes, that's five in, in a week, 10 and a half months, 20 in a month. I got 20 of these in a month. Um, something tells me that I'm going to get some additional business within the next three or four weeks when they get disgruntled. But the key is, I won't remember what I said after 20 of them, let alone 40 of them, let alone 60 of them, because I'm doing one of these a day every day. And I'm growing my business. And so I need a master lead sheet. And a master lead sheet looks something like this. In white, when it comes back from your virtual assistant, or if you prepare it manually, you're putting them in white, the virgin, they haven't been touched. And again, down here, you, you know, the, the source is the, Zillow Fisbo. Okay, you're going to put them in there. And so then what you're going to be doing is if they, you have conversation with them, it becomes yellow. You've got a meeting with them at 7 p.m. Then all of a sudden, you know, that, that yellow can become light blue whenever you put the sign writer in the front lawn because it's different steps. You've got an appointment with them, you warmed up, you're gonna meet them at seven o'clock on Tuesday. But at that meeting, not only are you gonna present that coffee cup and go through the three free things, you're gonna also discuss with them that I'm giving this to you, provided you're gonna have a conversation with me every Monday. I don't think that's a lot to ask of you. What you're really trying to do is find out at what point in the next three to four weeks do they become a disgruntled FISBO so that you can then list their property for them. So when you all of a sudden hear them being disgruntled and you have another meeting with them to go through a listing presentation, that's when it becomes light blue, as, as close as you can get to, to green, which is money, when you sell their home. So this is the seven o'clock meeting. This is when you have a listing presentation. Just Glenn's way of putting it together. If you guys want to do it differently, if you have another system, a CRM or something, but follow up you know, follow your, your leads so that you can stay in contact with them. Okay, going back to our agenda. So you put them into your master lead sheet. You're going to call them every Monday for status update once the sign writer is in the front lawn. And again, I would not put the sign writer in the front lawn. I would not 
activate that website such that the, the text number is active until they send me their pictures. 99% of the FISBOs take their own pictures. These cell phones of ours these days are so beautiful. These, these cameras that they've got in them, they're beautiful HD quality. Um, you know, in essence though too, if they take crappy pictures, you know, if they don't clear the house, if they leave ketchup bottles out or it's a dark picture, that's okay, use their pictures. Because if it doesn't sell because of crappy pictures, when it becomes your listing, you're gonna send in your, your photographer and get rid of all the FISBO pictures anyway. But use their pictures. That's a sign that they wanna work with you. It's on, it's on their phone, uh, it's on their computer. They uploaded them into Zillow, but have them send them to you so that you're not downloading somebody else's pictures that they have a copyright on, okay? And if you do see a watermark, make sure that they give you permission, that the FISBO goes and gets permission for you to, you to use those pictures. Okay, three or four weeks go by. You hear that um, it's the third, it's the fourth week, and all of a sudden you call up and say, how about those bears, how about those bulls, you know, how about those cubs and socks, and how is that volume, and you find out that they're saying, you know, Aaron, this just isn't what I expected. I got a job, I'm in Naperville, but I've got a new job in Arlington Heights. It's taken me over an hour to get there. And, you know, I gotta get the kids, you know, in the new school district up there. I thought this would sell faster and it's just not selling. And you say, well, you know, I do have option number two. Option number two, when they're disgruntled, gives them more exposure for you to list their home. It's option number two in your cover letter. So let's just take a look at your cover letter real quickly and talk about option number two. Here's option number one. First off, you're gonna bring with you, this is what I've already done for you. You do not have to put my picture in there, but you can to make it look like you have a team. Um, it's a Word document, so you can delete me if you care to. But it says, hi, I'm Aaron, I'm Glenn, I'm, I'm Ronaldo of HomeSmart Realty, and my referral partner is Glenn. We recently noticed your home was listed for sale. We don't want to interfere. However, the key to success in selling your home is to give your home great exposure where the buyers hang out. We've already created two great marketing options that will give your home great exposure in the inter internet where 90% of the buyers hang out. Option one is all you're gonna talk about at your seven o'clock meeting on Tuesday. Should you only, it's underlined, it's bolded, want to attract more buyers faster, I can provide you with a sign writer, sample here, that will give you instant, that will give a buyer instant information about your home. Please text, in your case, we're gonna change Colmar, that, what was that, Thackeray? Text Thackeray to 79564 to see the big wow potential buyers receive. That's all you're gonna, you're gonna be talking about. In addition to your three free things that, you're, that, you're, that you're, you had talked about on the phone. Now, option two, when they get disgruntled, and they may have read this ahead of time, you haven't discussed it, you're trying to bias them in any way. However, when they do get disgruntled, should you want more exposure for your home for a quicker sale? I would love the opportunity to interview for the job of marketing your home. Please accept the, the gift of marketing material that I've already created for you to help sell your home quickly, profit, and hassle-free manner. I've already created this cool property website. See this link. I've already created a flip book. See these 17 pages of wow of how I would market your home. See this brochure that's in the Hershey Kisses. It's one of nine brochures that I've already created. There's an e-postcard that I've already created. Send me your email or if you have it already, at this point, re-email it to them as a drip piece. I've already created this cool text message. Re text. And again, 795. I have a hits report that shows where your home is being found in the internet. And I'll prepare a Facebook listing page to help give your home up to 40,000 eyeballs in Facebook. You may have 30 minutes of time for a listing presentation to show you all the marketing materials that I've already created for you. You will not be disappointed. Thank you in advance. What have you got to lose? There's no cost to you. Call me today. I'm dedicated to your success in the marketing of your home. Call me today so I can assist you with the marketing of your home tomorrow. Megan Doyle and her team. And, and so again, you're gonna be emphasizing to them going back to your 
agenda, when they're disgruntled, focus on number two. Say, you know, the key to success in marketing your home is exposure. Right now, I can get you into at least six to eight of the social media sites because you're not doing that right now. I can also get you into the MLS. I think that, you know, I can do Facebook ads for you, but I can't do that unless you let me do more exposure. Shall I meet you this upcoming Monday at seven o'clock and we can talk about listing your home for sale? I've hardly ever heard anybody say once a FISBO is disgruntled, they want help. They're, they're now been your friend for the last three to four weeks. They're more than happy to talk to you and give you a two and a half percent commission. So once you've got that, and again, during the three or four weeks, you can create these six drip pieces that reminds them of what you've already created for them. You can also create a door hanger as a follow-up piece. You can show them the killer listing presentation. We're in class number three. The killer listing presentation is seven items that helps to assure you that when you do get in front of them for that 30 minutes, that you're going to win. And that's recorded on my website at www. Actually, it's https colon forward slash gmarino.valuedlender.com. I'll show that to you before we end today. And you can have them then sign a listing agreement. Let's go back to these six drip pieces. The six drip pieces look like this. And I, I just want to do a couple of them for you to show you how easy it is. Because again, what I'd be doing if I went nice, I gave a FISBO, you know, the, the coffee mug, and uh, I put a sign writer in their front lawn. I had a meeting with them. They sent me their pictures. I activated that sign writer so they, I could get more buyer leads. I, I would then be dripping. I got a four week period of time before they're gonna switch over to become a listing for me. I got six drip pieces. That's like saying, okay, every, oh, each week at least send two, one, maybe two of the drip pieces such that in over a four week period of time, I want six drips dripped upon them. So how do we do that? This template, it's got a virtual tour drip. It's got a mobile application drip. It's got an e-postcard drip. It's got a property website drip. It's got a QR code drip, and it's got a social media drip. How do we create, prepare these so that we can email them to them? Because by now we have their phone number. By now we have their email address because we sent them the seller's email. So since we have their email and we're calling them every Monday, why not in between shoot them off a drip, reminding them what you've already created for them to help give their home exposure. So you've already created this really, you don't have to, the cool thing here is you don't have to change anything in text. Just remember I've already created this beautiful virtual tour of your home. Take a tour of, this, of your home. Bring it to life by clicking on this link. When you click inside a picture, left click, notice the blue sizers come out all around the perimeter. So now what I can do is the computer's waiting for another command inside here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to agent marketing. I'm gonna go to that seller's email. If it's still up and running, here's the seller's email. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the virtual tour because that's the drip piece I'm on. I'm gonna open up the blue link for the virtual tour. I'm gonna block it. Still downloading. I'm gonna block it such that then I'm gonna grab Jing. I'm gonna freeze it. I'm gonna upper left it. I didn't wait to let it fully download because it would have your picture and all that good stuff, but you'll get the idea. Upper left, lower right. I'm gonna capture it. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go over here to my Word document, to my template. I got the sizers are out. Once the sizers are out, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit paste. It pastes in my current one that I, I, want, I want in there. It says, this is the link to make it go live, the virtual tour, highlight it. Go back over here to Agent Marketing where the virtual tour is playing. Up in the browser, there is your link to the virtual tour, copy it. Take it back over here to your template and paste. 
and hit the return key and it's face down obviously the template you'll change this to your phone number you're done it took you all of a minute to copy paste the virtual tour in in your in your document and the, the link with this you're going to copy the whole thing you then paste it into an email, send it off to Glenn and Rose, and, and drip on them, reminding them what it is that you're capable of doing. The second drip that week is the mobile application. The mobile application, you don't have to change anything on here, except for the number. Remember, we changed it to Thackeray. So all you gotta do is come over here. This is gonna be Thackeray, done. That took us 10 seconds to change. You're then going to come over here. You're going to copy. You're going to paste it into the email, send it off to Glenn and Rose, remind them of, of what it is that you've been able to do for them. The next is gonna be the e-postcard. Once again, all of this is sitting in the seller's email. Go back to the seller's email. I'll do the e-postcard and I'll kind of stop there for you guys. But here's the seller's email under send emails. Kind of nice. Except that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink the screen by control minus. So I get the full size of it. I'm gonna use Jing upper left, lower right. I'm gonna copy it, capture it. I'm going to copy it. I'm gonna go back over here to my template and I'm going to Left click, out come the sizers. Everybody see the sizers, all these little dots around the perimeter. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna paste. And now paste Thackeray, but Thackeray's too big, so left click, bring the sizers out, and size it as a smaller image until it goes back up to where it belongs. You wanna bring your phone number under there, so grab the corner again. Now your phone number moves back up, now you got this beautiful drip piece here. You can do the same thing with the property website, jing it, paste it. You can also do the QR codes, which is in the seller's email, jing and paste it. And the last one is your social media sites. The good news here, nothing changes. It's the same image, do nothing other than send it off as a drip. The other cool thing that I wanna show you, I won't spend time creating it, but anybody who wants me to show them, I would do this also if, again, it was getting closer to the three to four weeks, um, they, they weren't quite sure they wanted to meet with me yet to list their home. See this? This is Avery 16150s. I don't know if you guys can see on the computer the circle above each one of these. There's two of them to a page. It's Avery template 16150, 16150. It comes with a pre-cut hole and if there's a dotted line down the middle and it folds in half and you can split them apart and you take that hole out and you put it on their doorknob and it says once again they've been they got your coffee mug inside they've met with you at seven o'clock on a tuesday you've been dripping on them for six drips and now all of a sudden you put this on their door handle and says check out the market material i've already created for you once again you're going to put in their website here you're going to put in their their text number, Thackeray. Um, I will show you how to copy and paste in your contact information out of Agent Marketing here. You're gonna copy and paste the front of their home here, and you say your home could be just sold. Call me, and again, this is a Word document. You can change this if you've already given them their free marketing kit. Again, for those of you, let's say you might've used this also, for those of you that didn't have a seven o'clock appointment, you didn't use the call script, you just delivered a wine bag. I would use this then as a follow-up after dropping off a wine bag and putting it on their door, their door stoop, I'd put this on there and say, call me for your free physical marketing kit. For those that have been dripping and now you want them to list with you, you'd say your home could be just sold. Call me and let's give greater exposure to your home starting tomorrow. Put your name, put your phone number, and you're off to the races. So let's go back to the agenda. We're about to, you're at, at the conclusion here. So you're, you're gonna, you know, obviously you're looking to get a listing presentation once they get disgruntled. 
What if you get a buyer lead from the sign writer in week one, two, three, or four? Well, great. Let, let them know, because again, they don't know. They're not getting into the notifications off that sign writer. You are and my team is. So tell them, tell the FISBO, let the, the them, let them as them as FISBO, let the FISBO know your team is going to run a credit report to protect them because you said you were going to do that. Let them, the FISBO know that they will get pre-approved by your team to make sure that they have the correct income and credit to be qualified to buy the home. I see more and more FISBO listings say you must be pre-approved to gain entry in, or to see this house. You should be doing the same. Bring the pre-approval letter and your buyer's agreement to the FISBO and they will be more than happy to send you a two, two and a half percent commission. So attract, I, I, you know, that's my, that's the gist of how you're going to grow your business. But again, my simple mind, my eighth grade mind says, if you can spend five minutes in the morning, you spend five minutes in the afternoon filling up a coffee mug with Hershey Kisses and a cover letter that you change three things in it, plus you, you, you print one of nine brochures. I got to believe if you delivered 20 of these in a month, your business is going to grow. And the, the, to the extent of how fast it grows is up to you. If you say, you know what, because I'm sending out the $10 an hour work every day, I can actually do two of these every morning. I can spend 10 minutes, not five minutes. I'll let my virtual assistant do two of these every day. And now all of a sudden I've got not 20 in a month, I got 40 in a month. I got 80 in two months. I got 120 in three months. What, ask yourself, what would your business be like if you had 120 self-generated leads after three months? Me thinks your business dynamics would change greatly. The other thing, and again, you guys can call text and if you want some one-on-one -on -one, if you want to do a facebook ad to attract more fisbo clients i can do a post for you i with you i can do a an ad with you here's an example of it i'll show it to you real quickly let's see if we can find it here it is how do we never for sale by owner I, if you knew that 70% of the people would talk to you, no, that is not it. Um, I have another, there it is, Facebook open. This is the one that I want to show you. So this is the post that you or someone could put, considering selling your home by owner, who wants a free FISBO kit? You've got the kit, you've got agent marketing. Free marketing tools for FISBOs, claim your free marketing selling kit by clicking and again, I can help you, your virtual assistant, Hillary at Agent Marketing can help you with this landing page, free property website, free yard sign, meaning that sign writer that goes in the front lawn, free mobile application, free flyers, free pre-approval of interested buyers. Which FISBO doesn't want that? They all should want that. Click again to claim your free FISBO kit. You want more FISBOs than just what Zillow gives you? Put a post into into Facebook and then do a ad. Okay, last but not least in your agenda. Contribute to the success of the Marino team. We do all this each week for two hours to help you grow your business. We'd appreciate if you guys would think of us as one of your preferred lenders. Tony Marino can be found at, or can be emailed at t.marino at gofcm.com. His phone number is, eight, is uh, 847. 804-1059. We appreciate uh, you adding Tony to your, to your list of scheduled or preferred lenders. And last but not least, please go into Google. I'll send it out to you. It's www.tinyurl.com forward slash uh, the Marino team review. It's not the, it's the Marino team review and click on it and give us a Google review if you thought this was worth your while. I appreciate all of everybody who's come here today. Um, you, you all can have a great day. If there's uh, any questions, uh, I'll look into the um, chat. I'll answer your questions. I'll shoot those back out to you guys with answers. And uh, I'll send all of these handouts to you 
in the form of digital copies in the emails for everybody who registered. Have a wonderful day and thanks for being here.